Hello everybody. This video is going to be a tutorial on how to work with our notes using the technique of talking to the text. Now talking to the text is an annotating technique that basically allows you to take what you're thinking um, and put it down on paper. Um, the way we will normally be doing this is in the classroom with me giving you physical notes and having red pens available for you on the table and you will take the red pen and as you're reading the notes you're writing down anything that pops in your head. This is the process called talking to the text. Talking to the text is four T's, and that's why we call it T4. So I'm going to call it T4 the majority of years. So when you hear T4, it's talking to the text, which is a way of annotating. So let's go over some of the entries that you could um, put in for talking to the text. So as you are reading, you are able to have, there are these 12 different categories, or yeah, 12 that you could put as a type of comment. So as you're reading and you read something that you feel is interesting, you could describe it. So you could put, uh, say you get to a section and there's a, a sentence that does a good job of describing what they're talking about. You could circle one of the words in the sentence, put a little line on the side, and then really quickly in a couple words, describe it. You could explain it. If there's some in a really important idea that you might say, think it's gonna be on the test or this system of doing talking to the text is always going to be followed by talking, talking with a partner, talking with a group, talking with a whole class, having a discussion. So that means that if you are reading the notes, you're also looking for things that you're going to be able to explain to a partner or define if there's something that you know that you think somebody might not understand or if the word there's a word that you don't understand, you're able to circle that word and, um, and put like say question marks around it. I interpret explain and comment the subject to make the judgment, uh, compare it, contrast it. So maybe you're reading something and, um, and you're like, this is kind of like what I saw in that one show I watched, you know, that show. And then you write down the name of the show. So that way, when you go discuss with your partner, you tell them, oh, this reminds me of this show. And then your partner says, yeah, I've seen that show. I understand what you're saying. That's the idea of comparing and contrasting, analyzing the material. Maybe there's, as you're reading this, you're like, hey, this reminds me of what we talked about in World War One." Right now, that, and then you're able to share that information with your partner. The idea is that, or even make a quick little drawing and illustration, a trace. You trace this directly to something else. Um, you're reading something and you're like this. I could connectly trace to the last unit that we talked about because it started then and it's continuing now. All these diff are different ways that you can make comments onto your talking to the text. And the idea is supposed to be that when I give you a say five minutes and I said, go ahead and do talking to the text or T4 to a certain material. And then I tell you guys, all right, we're gonna get into groups either in classroom or online. And then when you get there, you have something to say because you already read it, you already thought about it. You already used the talking to the text to write down comments. So you read it, you thought about it, you wrote about it. And now you can have a discussion with it. And the idea is if you give your perspective what you read, you know, you're talking to the text comments and then your partner or partners give their T4 comments that combine, you guys give enough perspective that it should give you a very good understanding of what the notes is about and therefore make everything in my class so much easier. As I mentioned before, the notes are connected to the assignments you're going to do, the projects you're going to do, um, the quizzes you're going to take, the benchmarks you're going to take. So the better you understand the notes, the easier the class will be. This is the way that you understand the notes, talking to the text, annotating the material, putting down your comments on paper or online, and then being able to um, discuss them with a partner. So you have all these different ideas floating around in a discussion over from the same material. So you look at it one way, they look at another, you tell each other what you thought, and that allows you to get to an understanding at a much deeper level which means when it's time to take a test, when it's time to do an assignment or a project, you don't have to worry about understanding the material because you already did in your T4 and in your discussion and then in our class discussion. All right, so I'm going to do an example of this using this document, Black Lives Matter, an activist moment. So for um, what I'm going to show you right now is not only what I would do is if, if I was doing talking to the text, what I will show you is how to do it here on a computer versus when normally you would do it on, uh, on paper. Now, the thing is, the comments that we're going to add, you see this little comment section? Um, that's where we're going to add the comments. They're all going to come here. 
And what's going to happen is even though we're going to add five or six comments, they're not going to, for the sake for this paragraph, they're not going to stay here. They're just going to start lining up, which means that they're going to keep lining up. And by the time that you do say the comment for this one, um, it's going to, the first comment is going to be down here, which means usually when I give you some writing, any type of material, you're going to end up having to write comments that are going to go into the next page. And therefore, you will be able, you'll need to have a blank page after every single type of writing that you're going to analyze. You need to have at least one blank page. All right. And that way your comments for this first page are going to go on this page and here. And then this third page is where you have the next type of writing. And then you start writing your comments there as well. Your T4 comments. All right. So again, this is talking to the text and we're going to start here. All right. So let's look at our title, Black Lives Matters, an activist moment. All right, so like first off, I'm gonna put is if I'm talking to the text, I'm gonna say, I have heard a lot about this. This past year, okay? And by doing that comment and you just hit enter or hit, you can either hit enter or you get a comment, it pops on here. And when you start your discussion on this, the first thing you can tell them is, yeah, I started reading this article, and the first thing I thought of was, yeah, I've heard a lot about this, it's been on the news a lot, all the different protests and movement, and that starts your conversation. Simply by putting something simple like this, it starts your conversation, and the other person might say, yeah, I, I saw a lot of things too, and I read an article, and then they give you information that you didn't know. That, it leads to a much better understanding of whatever material you're going. All right, so we're going to start reading with the paragraph, uh, Black Lives Matter is an activist movement. Um, and uh, me as a student, I'm going to look at this word. I'm like, I don't know what that is. So you see, I highlighted the word and then you see the plus, you just click on it. Um, and I'm going to put question mark, question mark. All right. Now, what does that mean? That means that, um, when I do question mark, question mark, it means that I don't understand it. So when I go here and leave it there, when I start reading and I'm like, oh yeah, when I got to this word, you know, I see the question mark, question mark. I don't know what that meant. Do you? And at that point, you guys try to figure out together what does the activist part mean in the activist movement. And if you together can't figure it out, then the next logical step is when we discuss together is to ask me. And then I can explain it to you when we're doing our whole class discussion. And I can explain it to everybody else who might have had the same question. All right. So Black Lives Matter is an activist movement which began as a hashtag Black Lives Matter after George Zimmerman was acquitted of shooting Trayvon Martin. All right, I remember this. So I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to add a point for the sentence. Um, he shot him because he was wearing a hoodie, and he was black. All right, so this happened several years ago. So he shot him because he was wearing a hoodie, and he was black. And this is what started this whole idea that they shouldn't be able to just shoot somebody of color simply because they're scared of him. And he claimed he was scared of him because he was wearing a hoodie and the hoodie made him like he was some dangerous person. And he was a teenager. And he was, and it says, an, a Trayvon Martin, an unarmed African-American teenager. Unarmed. You know, I'm gonna have to say, you know, what the hell? Uh, he had no weapon. So why would he shoot him if he had no weapon? What made him so scary? You know, I would even put that here. What made him so scary if he didn't have a, a weapon and that would be something that you could discuss with your partner where you say well the thing that made him so scary was the color of his skin um that's what made him so scary all right so he, he was killed in florida in july of 2013 the movement became widely known and popularized okay i'm gonna i'm not sure exactly what this means this popularized word so i'm gonna put a comment over here and I'm just going to write, everyone knew about it? And then question mark, question mark. And that way I can ask my partner if, if that's what it means. After two high-profile deaths in 2014 of an African-American man, Eric Gardner in New York, and Michael Brown in Ferguson. All right, so I'm going to highlight this whole thing. And I'm going to put over here, two more unarmed men killed by police seems to be a trend okay i'm gonna do that as my comment and then neither of the police officers involved in the deaths were indicted 
and it tells me what indicted it is, formally charged with a crime. So they killed them without a weapon and nothing happened to them? So uh, I'm going to put um, indicted here, and I'm going to put um, that's wrong. How could they shoot them without... Um, without a, how could they shoot him without a weapon and they don't get indicted? They don't go to jail just because they're cops? They are able to kill people of color? You hit comment. All right. So as you can see in a few, um, in a few, in one paragraph, look at the comments that I posted. All right. So I posted six for that one paragraph, just the things that were popping into my head. And the idea is that when it's time to discuss with somebody, we start discussing this first paragraph. I have these things that I could tell them, like, I don't know what an activist is, and I could go through my comments. So you don't have to rethink what you thought when you were reading, so you could have a good discussion. You wrote it down right here, which means when you write it down right here, you already have what you want to say in a discussion, and therefore you can have a discussion, all right? So the idea, and we're going to do this so much that you're going to be, it's just going to become second nature, where I'm going to say, all right, we have this section. I want you to just T for it. Go ahead, and let's have a good discussion. And you can't have a good discussion without good T4 comments. Because if you just simply put down some stuff, random stuff that has nothing to do with this here, then when it's time to have a discussion, you're not going to understand it because you didn't really put the effort in the first step. You read it, you think about it, you write about it. That process is talking to the text. All right? Hope this video helped on what we're going to do. And I'll explain your assignment in the next video.